Hey friends, it's Rose from rosesimonelli.com. I am doing dos reviews on two different Mexican restaurants. Tacolinos, there are about seven in the Denver metro area. And Casa Tequila, it's in Carbondale, up in the mountains. I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons and I'd love to get your thoughts on how these dishes look. If you would, comment down below. Thanks. Well, I had to stack these photos. It's just how it worked today. Tacolinos, like I said, there's about seven of them in Denver Metro. I typically go to the one on Colfax near I-70. It's just west of I-70. Their menu is extensive. I don't know how a kitchen can put out that much stuff, but so is Casa Tequila, which is here. So this is the entry. We ate just inside. This was a, a outdoor dining, so if you like that idea, they had plenty, but we weren't able to get in there. So we were inside with very nice ventilation open windows. Tacolinos took part of their parking lot, outdoor seating, just in front, and that's where we were, right here. They give this, I don't even know what it's called, They both of them give this with the chips and salsa. I have to say, Casa Tequila's salsa was a bit more interesting for me. It had a lot of green onion and cilantro that you could see in it. Casa Tequila, it, it tasted good, and there was a little bit of spice to it, just like this one, just a little bit. But I like that green. I love the herbs in it. I did like the amount of herbs and tomato that was in, if anyone knows what this is called, if you could leave that as a comment for me down below, I'd really like to know. I want to look that up online and make it. It was tasty, and it was nice to have the chips with both. Okay, so the chips look the same to me in both. All right, now I'm going to take you over to some of the dishes. Here are more of the dishes, I guess, <laughs> what you say that we ordered. Um, here is enchiladas with green sauce with the side of the rice, and the green chili was over. This wasn't beans. It came with beans like this. I ordered a burrito with a tostada, a guacamole tostada. I had beans on that too, but they're underneath beans, ooh, like this. Okay, they were underneath here and very tasty. I didn't try my friends. This was at um, Tacolinos, okay? Their margaritas are very good, just the house margaritas, and they are kick butt, so be careful about that. I did have a margarita from Casa Tequila, as I do enjoy tequila. It was it wasn't buzzworthy, even speaking-wise. It wasn't, if you catch my buzz. Anyway, I ordered a bean and guacamole tostada, and this is what came. It was odd, okay? I, I guess I put it together. So here, can you tell what's my favorite? Maybe this or this. <laughs> These beans... It may look or appear that there's a lot there, but it was, it's the way the angle of the picture. These were $3.50 extra. So this was pretty special. <laughs> okay. And again, my friend ordered enchiladas. The beans were tasty, the refryers. And this sauce was good, but so was this. So I personally enjoyed Tacolinos better than 
Casa Tequila. It's taken me a second to get what that is. Um, but if you're up in Carbondale, it was nice food. Maybe I wasn't a very good communicator, and they understood when I went to Tacolino's, but up in Carbondale, they didn't quite understand. Anyway... I am going to leave links to the restaurant's websites in case you'd like to go. You could get directions. Tacolinos, there are a lot in Denver Metro, and I recommend them highly. I really enjoy their combination menu. Casa Tequila had a huge extensive menu as well. I just don't understand how they can put that much out. If you like to eat out and you want to spend your money wisely, please subscribe to my channel. It is mostly about earning money online for beginners, learning to work online for beginners. But I love to eat, I'm a foodie, and I like to bring you some good value. So subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and I can give you more. Because again, I like to go out to eat on occasion. I am a pretty good cook myself. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next review. Ciao.